Okay, hello. Um, this is T-Bone Pearson, aka Travis Gordon, here with how to use Adobe After Effects Basic Tutorial Part Two. So I'm working on a project uh, for uh, Spidvid.com, and it's called Women in Web Series. And basically, I shot um, Mumsy, this puppet, in front of a green screen, and then I'm inserting a background. So I thought it'd be a good time to uh, show you guys a little bit more uh, in Adobe After Effects. So we are going to import, file, import, file, and I am looking for a clip. Uh, here it is, second green Mumsy Venus Spa visual effects. All right, uh, so let's just slap this on the timeline down here. So I just grab that, I'm holding down the left button and throwing it into my project here. All right, so uh, as you can see down here by where I'm moving that, uh, the project goes like this. It'll render out this timeline here, and a quick, some quick, a quick hotkey, hotkeys, I guess, is Control Alt B, automatically shortens your project to your selected video. Uh, that is a time saver. I love that. Okay, so what are we going to show you guys today? Uh, well, here we go. We can see uh, Mumsy, and uh, I have a green screen that's not really lit the best. Um, you can see there's a shadow from me over there. Uh, so let's just maybe show you guys some green screen stuff. Um, so uh, let us. So it's selected down here, and uh, there we go. Second green Mumsy, and let's just go to Effect. We're gonna go to King, and we're gonna go to Key Light. Keylight 1.2. I believe that it ships with all most versions of After Effects for a while now. Uh, so uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you have to do is click this little eyedrop tool, and now I just I do this a certain way, just the way I do it. Uh, you can do it multiple ways with all of these tools over here on the left. Um, so I usually grab something like a little darker in here. Um, I grab that and work from there. And uh, <laughs> there's my face there. Funny. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, right here in the view. It says final result. So right now we're getting um, semi transparent Mumsy and myself. So we're going to go to a screen mat like that. So now we're sort of seeing uh, the black is where it's transparent and the white is where there's actually going to be video. So we're obviously seeing issues over here. That's not that big of a deal um, because we'll just make a mask called a garbage mat and just cut that garbage off. Um, but yeah, so let's try to fix this up a bit. Um, we're going to go to screen mat, this drop down over here on the left. Um, now uh, we are going to, now I've been playing with these a bit up here, the screen balance and screen gain. Sometimes just by fiddle farting around with this, see the table the table's blue. Don't ask me why I did that. Um, okay, so I was playing around with these a bit, just trying to... not doing too much there. Alright, so let's move down here to clip black and clip white. So, I'm just going to blow the whites here. So now Mumsy's totally... Um, you know, he's going to be seen now because he's going to be covered. That's the mat there. Uh, so, now you can see along the edge here, it's a little... there's white pixels everywhere. We don't want those, so we're going to darken the blacks here, and that's not too bad. There's some stuff in here in the middle, but this is like a television show type project. Uh, it's going to be on the web, but it's supposed to be like a television show, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, I'm just going to have a sip of tea, just give me a second. Okay, so let's shift now to the final. Final result. Okay, and let's turn off now, down here we see first green Mumsy. I'm just going to hit the eyeball tool and turn off the background uh, green screen thing. Okay, so we're trying to insert him here. So, as I said before, uh, this is garbage over here, so let's cut it off. So we're going to go up to the top, click the pen tool, and we're just going to go doot, 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 doot. And we're just going to cut off that portion there. There, and it's gone. So. I'm going to go to my second green Mumsy, drop down list, drop down list for the mask. Now there's hotkeys for that as well, but I'm just sort of showing you guys this. All right, and I'm just going to click this mask path here, 
just in case for some reason I want to move it at some point. It's sort of recorded at this point here. Uh, now, <laughs> we can see I'm still in shot. Uh, so I'm going to have to do a mask for myself to, to subtract me out of there. Uh, so let's sort of zoom in a bit. Um, and that's just with, uh, I just use the middle uh, scroll wheel just to go in and out and in and out. Um, I think you can do, is it control plus on the keyboard? Yeah, control plus, control minus. Uh, same deal. All right, so now we have to cut me out of there. So let's do that. We're basically just chopping him out. Uh, let's go along here. Oh, is my green screen's a little odd there. My green screen suit. But we are going to chop me out of there. And let's chop out this piece of the couch as well. Let's go over like that. And oh, my computer's, there we go and we will cut me out now let's go down to the second mask because we just made two masks and you can color code these masks as well just by clicking the color so I'm gonna click, click this little uh, down here in the left uh, the mask there and we'll change that to I don't know we'll change it to green there we go so that one's green and that one is yellow now we can also name these masks too that's proper etiquette here otherwise if you have got like 20 masks it's probably a good idea to name them. So you just hit the mask one here on the left and hit enter and we'll call that what it is. Garbage. And then we're going to go to this green one and we're going to call that uh, Travis because that's my name and that's who I'm trying to get rid of there. Or anti-Travis. We'll try. It will be clever there. Although usually you want it to be something quick and easy to put in there because you don't want complicated names slowing you down. All right, now we have to do sort of like hit a record point. That's like a keyframe. Uh, we're just gonna hit mask path right there because I'm obviously gonna move. Uh, Mumsy's gonna move as well. So let's just jump. So I'm gonna be on the timeline here, and I'm just gonna sort of click forward and see things have moved it a bit. Uh, let's look for something a little more extreme. Uh, well, okay, that works there. So I uh, Mumsy's leaning left, and I'm sort of you can see my neck there. So we're just gonna use a pointer tool and just sort of grab some of these little points I made when I drew the mask and move them. And the computer between those two points will move the little mask points. So it'll sort of, oh, but yeah, so you have to go through and fine tune it. The best thing to do is split the difference. So right in the middle, just sort of go there and sort of fine tune it a bit. I use the, I hold down the space bar to go to the hand tool as a uh, little hotkey, that's awesome. Instead of having to go up here and click the hand and then blah blah blah, you just want to you want to know all the hotkeys. I don't know them all, but I know enough. Uh, I'll, I'm hitting G right here. That's a nice hotkey to make a an extra point. And yeah, so I'm gonna go right to the bottom here and move this zoom tool so you can really zoom in on your project and split the difference again. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be a good one because we're just gonna move those off. Uh, we can even do this. Go down a bit. So we're learning about masks and green screen today in our tutorial two. All right. So, uh, so let's see. The computer is now moving the masks, little keyframes, little control points as it goes through. All right. Let's shift these a bit. Split the difference maybe over here. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, and yeah, it's good enough for now. So there we go. So let's cut him out. Let's go over to anti-Travis and go to subtract. Okay, he's gone. Now you can feather the edge. Sometimes it's a little sharp there. Feather the edge by, I don't know, like three pixels right here under mask path, mask feather. Uh, let's feather that a bit. And he's sort of gone. Now I put blue in there. I'm not quite sure what I was trying to do. Um, with that. So I can just go to the clip and delete that as well. So we go to key, ing, <laughs> and uh, go to key light. Oh, I went the wrong one. All right, let's delete that inner editor key. No thanks. All right, so let's go to keying in our effect. Go to effect and keying. We will go to key light 1.2. All right, so I just click the eyedropper tool, and then I usually go for sort of a darker. Um, color there, the darker of the blue shades, and final result, nope, I want screen matte, and sometimes you can just play around with this stuff, 
and I want that to be deleted, so I want to make it sort of blackish. Uh, let's go to the screen mat drop down, and uh, let's play around with clip white now. We don't need that. All right, let's, there we go. So I have gotten you know rid of the table there, the blue table, and I'm just going to blow the whites out here where his hands being the table, and that's not too bad. Let's go to final result, and there we go. Now these elements are just you know a table, and then there's a a New York City, you know, backdrop. Uh, but yeah, no, so the problem with him, if you look at it, is now he looks too dark. Um, your eye isn't drawn to him. So let's do a little color correction as well. Uh, let's click second green mumsy, and then we're going to go up to effect, and then the color correction, and let's go to levels right here, guys. Levels. And I use levels a lot, uh, they're great. You're basically. Here's your little histogram here. So most of the black and white uh, in the image is towards the black or the dark uh, portion of this graph. And we just want to brighten this thing up. But the beauty of levels is uh, when I grab this, it's just boosting the whites uh, pretty much. So his teeth and his claws and stuff. So see, see how he's getting brighter there? And there's a little bit here, we've got a little bit of room here in the blacks to crush the blacks a little bit, so we'll move that in as well. So already he's starting to look better. Okay, uh, now also, uh, if you grab this, the whole thing goes either dark or white. We'll just leave that where it is. And actually, let's make it a little bit brighter. There. Now I'm going to add a little color as well, so let's go to Effect, Color Correction, Hue and Saturation. And let's just... You know, obviously, if you go up here, he gets too colorful. Uh, we'll throw something maybe like a 20, 20 in there just to boost the colors, maybe even like a 30. All right. Okay, so uh, maybe that was too much. <laughs> All right, let's go back to 20. No, not that. There we go. Okay, 20. All right, so let's have a look at him there. This We're at third resolution, so let's switch to full. You guys see that there just underneath the picture? There's a third, that was a third resolution, so the computer goes a little faster. This is full resolution here. Um, I'm usually always in like half or a third just because uh, I'm usually using high def, and if you're at a third or half, it's a lot easier to do your work. Um, and then we're doing like more critical stuff, like, hey, how do my colors work? Um, you know, this is, you do it in full. Okay, this is another sip of tea. Uh, bear with me. There we go. I'm good caffeine. All right, so the problem I see with this, obviously, well, I don't know, is the edge. The edge is really pixely and jagged. Um, so I'm just going to go to Effect up at the top, and then we're going to go down to Matte and put a simple, there's a matte choker and a simple choker. We're going with simple. And let's have a look at the edge there. Choke the matte. You're just shrinking the matte in. See it now? It's nice and smooth. Okay, so now it looks a little bit better. Not too bad. Um, now you can also put a like an edge blur on there as well, uh, or you know feather the edge and stuff. He's okay for now though. This isn't. This is just like TV. It should should look like it's I don't know done on TV like the Weatherman. So it's not going to be perfect like a film. Okay, so uh, yeah, so he's sort of sitting there. It sort of looks like uh, he's there. Um, I have these graphics up in the top left and top in the bottom here. Um, I think the last thing I'm going to do is just go to Effect. Actually, let's go to uh, Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and I'll name it. I'll call it uh, Exposure. I'm just going to make it look like the lights are on him a little more. Um, so I'm just going to go Effect, Color Correction, Exposure, and then I'm going to this will expose it like it's overexposed. Uh, so let's put it on maybe like one. And then I'm going to go up to this tool right here. This is just a, a quick mask tool. Um, so I'm going to go to Circle Ellipse Tool. And it, now here's a little trick. You can just double click this and it makes a mask on there. So And then you can just grab these points. And it'll look like the lights are right on him and not on the rest of the set where, you know, usually your eye goes to where it's brighter or there's a lot of movement. 
Now the only problem is if I click off this is <laughs> you can see the line, right? We do, we don't want that on our our image. So I'm going to go to the exposure layer, uh, drop down on the mask. Uh, I might want to record this in a way, like by hitting a keyframe, and let's just feather the mask like 150, and look, and let's look at it. There we go. I sort of like that look. It's not too bad. Uh, something I may do. He looks a little pixely a bit in the set, um, but that's because he's live footage and this desk and this backdrop aren't. They're just like a picture frame. So what we want to do is, now this is getting a little more advanced, a little more polished. I'll do this, I'll do this and then I'll end it. But what I want to do is add some grain to these two things. Uh, so, you know, we'll go to layer, new, adjustment layer and call this noise. Because whenever you shoot something with digital, there's always some type of noise on it. Or even like film. Noise and effect then go down to where are you noise and grain and throw some noise on there and here up here on the left um, the effect controls amount of noise so you can go crazy now he obviously blends in now <laughs> uh, but it looks like crap uh, so let's just try like a 5 or something not 55 5 and let's have a look now. So when you go in, you can see a little bit more grain on that, a little more grain on there. Now he ends up with more grain. Uh, so if we can put that, okay, I'm going to grab this here, this noise layer, and put it underneath him. So it's not affecting him now, it's just affecting uh, the table and the background. So now it looks more like he was shot there on the day. That's a little trick in blending. Uh, anyways, yeah, that was a little more advanced than I wanted to go into, but hey, <laughs> you know, I'm actually working here, so I'm work do killing two birds with one stone. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll do another one if you guys want me to. Uh, just let me know in the comments. Just say, hey guys, er, hey Travis, I want to see uh, part three, uh, and I'll do some more stuff. So uh, yes, yeah, so that was Travis Gordon with how to use Adobe After Effects Basic Tutorials Part 2. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to cover, uh, again, just underneath uh, in the comments, let me know. And don't forget to like it and subscribe. Thanks, guys.